Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Now, Dennis. Hey, Congress, you are on time. All the time in the class. That's fantastic, Dennis. And Ada, hello. Thank you. Hey, what's new? Is everything all right? Ready to start with the class tonight? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. So let us wait a little bit for the rest of the people, okay? Oh, Marco is just getting connected. I can see Marco is mm, getting ready. Marco. Good evening, Good evening. Marco. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Hello, Moses. Everything is good, and you? Just fine. Okay, waiting for the rest. Moses Antonio. You can see Moses, Juan Antonio. Ada, okay, Gisela. I can see Gisela. Hello, Gisela. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, you can see Jonel. I can see Jonel is in the class now. Good evening, Janelle. Good to see you. Ada says. Okay. Okay, Ada. I will take it into consideration. All right. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. And I'm really happy to see you again. It's nine o'clock and it's time to start. Time to start uh, working with the with the topic tonight. But uh, you know, before getting into the into the topic tonight, uh, I want to listen to you uh, about the experience. Okay, you prepare for tonight. Okay, everybody is participating. Okay, so do me the favor to get ready. After that, we're going to move on to the topic I have already prepared for you. I mean, there are some activities in the platform, but I, I have a PowerPoint presentation that I would really like to um, include in this session. I can see Jocelyn got into the class. Hello, Jocelyn. Okay, now let's see. Okay, uh, are we are going to start... Uh, in order, okay. Jonel, no, but Jonel, I think Jonel is is walking around. Yes, we have a minute. Okay. So remember, you are you are in charge of sharing an experience that you will never forget. I can see Isabella here. Hi. Hello, Isabella. How are you doing? I am fine. <laughs> okay. Esmeralda, right? Sí, Esmeralda, Isabella. Okay. Ya me cambié el nombre. Yeah, that's that's right. I can see that you have a different ah, no. name. Okay, Isabella. Okay, Janelle. We are all ears. Okay, Joseph. <laughs> ah, okay, so you are just getting ready. Okay, very good. Let's continue with Gisela then. Hey, Jeanette, whenever you get ready, just let me know it, okay? Okay, All right, so Gisela, I wonder, I mean, everybody get ready, please. Because this is, a, this is a night in which everybody is participating. I mean, it's quite interesting to know about an experience. Everybody has a, happened an experience, right? That will will remain during their whole life. 
Okay, so let's see. Let's see about his cell. After his cell, we're going to listen to Dennis. And after Denny, we're going to listen to Esmeralda. And after Esmeralda, we will continue with Moses, okay? Las actividades. Yeah, I mean, the experience that you will never forget, okay? Ah, la experiencia. Yeah. <laughs> no, no hice diapas. Not yet, not yet. Not ready yet. Okay, it's waiting for the bus. <laughs> my, my friend and I, my friend and I always went to the university together on tour the afternoon. And when we were at the bus stop waiting for the second bus, we talked to the university, it never passed. And when we decided to walk in, we were getting being late, the bus finally appeared and we had to walk to the next bus stop to wait for another bus and it was difficult for it to pass. And in the end, we were late for our class. Wow, hey, <laughs> that, that was quite interesting, Isela. Hey, you know what? That was quite good. But if you if if we analyze uh, Gisela's participation, we will notice that she spoke about simple past. I mean, he, she chose structures in simple past. Yes or no? Yes or no, Gisela? Everything was a simple past, right? <laughs> uh, you, you couldn't, right? I, don't worry, Gisela. Don't worry because that's why we're going to start working on that tonight. Because tonight we're going to see like the different when to use simple past, when to use a uh, person perfect. Oh, it's all right. Okay, Dennis, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Um, I have always had a puppy, but there's just my Mackie, his name. A diet of poisoning is okay. Poison, okay. And this murdered my life, and it is was super sad with with my history. All information, teacher. Only that info. Yes. Ah, okay. That's all right. Okay. Thank you very much, Dennis Esmeralda. Good evening. Good evening. After Esmeralda, Marco. Okay, Marco, get ready, please. Marco or you? No, I mean, right now it's your turn, Esmeralda. The experience or las oraciones? No, the experience. Um, well, um, good evening. Um, in my opinion, two weeks ago, I went with my father uh, to acantilados and really it was a great experience for me because uh, with him we ate a lot of food and drank beer and I took a lot of pictures and at night uh, I watched the sunset and later uh, I danced with my father and some friends and well, this is my experience for me. All right, quite good. Okay, now think about your experience because later we are going to see if we are able to include present perfect statements, okay? Because we're going to learn how to deal with both tenses, okay? Marco, go ahead. That was fantastic, Esmeralda, good. Okay, well, I think that the experience well, one experience that I have never, that I will never forget, uh, I think it would be the first time that I visit the Aurora Zoo because it's completely different if we compare to our local zoo. It's, it's amazing the difference. It's other world. I uh, guess, say, Yes, I was very impressed because it's like it's like the first words, the Aurora Zoo, and if we compare with the local zoo, well, 
that, that's all I can say. I was very impressed when I visited Urodasu. All right, Marco. Marco, uh, now think about that experience and try to uh, get like some statements by using present perfect tense. Present perfect. Remember, we are still uh, dealing with that with that topic. Tonight, we're going to continue uh, doing so. And it is quite important to, to dif differentiate between simple past and present perfect. Okay. Okay. Okay, Silmara, do you have something for, for us? After Silmara, Moses, after Moses, Dennis, and after Dennis, uh, well, if Janelle is ready, we will continue with Janelle. Teacher, fíjese que yo no lo tengo porque el día de ayer no me pude conectar, entonces hasta hoy estoy viendo qué es lo que están haciendo. Uh, all right, so try to get ready, okay? Uh, Silmara, try to get ready, okay? Because later, if we have time, so I will ask you to participate. Moses. Okay. Uh, the experience uh, that I will never be able to forget uh, is very recent. Uh, exactly 10 days ago, uh, I had the opportunity to attend uh, the concert of my favorite artist. Uh, it was a unique experience and 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 what that I, I will repeat for uh, for all that 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 it means and means to me okay Moses okay, same story right now uh, try to connect uh, some ideas in present perfect tense with the with the information you provided Dennis Another participate teacher. And uh, you already you already participated, right? Yes, but yeah. I have another history. You have another one? Yes. And I always wanted to, you know, this no one. And these years I can see this no one. It's very it's super fantastic. And the the how do you say textura? The texture, the texture in my hand is uh super amazing. That is, is fantastic experience in my life. Uh, all right. I oh. tell you to there's no. All right. Okay. Thank you, Dennis. Okay, okay. Janelle. Well, you know, I think you know it's not ready yet. Uh, Mrs. Yes. Salgado. Uh, Hello, teacher. Uh, okay. Nani. Have you have you prepared something for the group tonight? Yes. 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 Uh, a few minutes. Uh, okay, Janelle. Don't worry, Janelle. Take your time. Okay, Claudia will participate now, and after Claudia, you will continue. Okay. Okay. Okay, entonces sería my experience. Uh, sería a day at the beach with my family. We joined the place, the pools, the food, the soup, and we had a great time. Lo hice cortito, please. It's okay. All right. Uh, Claudia, uh, now think about present perfect statements, okay? You can like... You can yes. mix, right, the tenses, like using present perfect and simple past. We will learn to do so tonight. Now, okay. yes, Janelle. Thank you, Claudia. Now, yes, Janelle, if you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so we are all ears. Okay, one of the experiences that I will not be able to forget uh is having traveled to Panama to participate in the Codicadar game uh, when I was 16 years old. Uh, it was wonderful uh, to have, uh, to, was, uh, to have visited uh, the town of, of Panama. Okay, it's, it's been a, a great experience. Something that you will never forget. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you. 
Now let's continue with Juan Antonio and after Juan Antonio, Ada, and finally, we are going to listen to Jocelyn. Uh, well, Jocelyn says she's working now. So we're gonna listen to Juan Antonio and Ada. Okay, Juan Antonio, it's your turn. Good evening. Good evening. I remember when I was a child, I was playing with my friends. Uh, at least we are uh, we was riding riding a bike uh, in a moment I remember that the brake of my bicycle broke broken down and I I I fell on the floor and I hit me hit me my my head. Well, after that I remember when my my dad was for me. Uh, he took me to uh, the hospital. Uh, I remember that that feeling was very hard. To this day, I haven't never forgotten that because I think that it, it was part of my childhood. All right. Very good. Now, listen, I will switch to Spanish just a little bit so that you can get my point. Now, if I say, si yo digo, por ejemplo, yo he ido muchas veces a la playa. Y siempre que he ido, me he divertido mucho. ¿Qué tiempo estoy usando ahí? En esas frases que acabo de decir. Yo he ido a la playa muchas veces. Y siempre que he ido, me he divertido mucho. ¿Qué tiempo es ese? Uh, uh, simple es, present. Ah, ¿presente simple? No, presente perfecto. Ah, ok. Marco, no. Es presente perfecto. Es lo, es lo último que hemos estado estudiando. Miren, yo he ido a la playa. ¿Cómo dicen eso en inglés? Muchas veces. I... Have I have gone to the beach. Many times. Beach. Muchas veces. Uh -huh. Many times. Entonces, algo así es, es la experiencia que, que yo quiero que ustedes sigan trabajando porque ya tienen un inicio. Lo que dijeron ahora está súper, está muy bien. Pero vamos a tratar de incluirle, vamos a tratar de darle forma eh, incluyendo ambos tiempos. Yo, yo he ido a la playa muchas veces y siempre que he ido me, me he divertido. La última vez que fui, fui con mis compañeros de trabajo. Eh, nos divertimos mucho. Eh, comimos eh, comida, comimos pescado, por ejemplo, y, este, y nos divertimos mucho. Entonces, Ahí ya lo último que yo dije está en pasado simple. ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es lo que vamos a tratar de ir haciendo en inglés. Ir como eh, mezclando el presente perfecto con el pasado simple. Pero antes de eso, vamos a ver um, algo que les tengo yo por acá. Veamos, vamos a ver primero lo que tenemos acá en la plataforma y ya luego voy a tratar de, de remachar la información con una PowerPoint que tengo por acá. La clave para eh, hacer un buen uso del presente perfecto es aprenderse la estructura y, y también este, aprenderse la, los verbos. O sea, mientras más verbos sepamos, es mejor. Hey, lesson objective. In this session, uh, a conversation will be listened in, to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Okay, as you can see over here, we're going to see the information. I mean, in a conversation, uh, the present perfect, simple. And also, we're going to see the present I mean the simple past, okay, in the same conversation. Okay, so 
let us see what's going on. This is a conversation, people. We are going to identify what's present perfect, what is um, simple past, okay? Okay, let us try. A conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. All right. So I will stop it there. Okay. And now let us see what's present perfect. Let us also identify what's present perfect and what is um simple past. Now I will read and then you tell me uh, the struct one of the structures we are starting tonight. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? What do we have? Present perfect or, or simple past? Present perfect. What what is the structure in present perfect? Have you been? All right, very good. Don't be afraid of saying it. Hey, have you been here long? Okay, that's the first. No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? What what where is that? Simple past or present perfect? Present perfect. Present perfect. Perfect, right? And it is a question. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? What about that? Have you ever eaten? Yes. What is it? What what things? Present perfect or simple past? Present perfect. Present perfect, right? Present perfect. No, I haven't. Present perfect, right? No, I haven't. Present perfect. Now, it's delicious. I've had it several times. What about this one? I've had it. Present perfect or simple past? Simple past. Present perfect. Some people say simple past. I don't know why. What, we're going to have some review about it, and we're going to see the difference, people. Because remember, if you have, if you have subject plus have plus past participle, that we have subject plus have. Plus, sorry for my letter. Lo siento por mi letter. Past participle. So this is present perfect, people. Okay, and, and we have it here. I have had it several times. Present perfect. How about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Have you ever? Have you ever had? Present perfect. Actually, I have. And look at it. I live in Thailand. What is this? Present perfect or simple past? Simple, simple past. past. Some people say present perfect. Some others say simple past. Now, this is simple past, okay? You have the, the, the subject and you have a very simple past form. I ate it a lot there. I ate it. What is this? Simple past or present perfect? That simple past, right? Very good. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know what what tense is this one. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Simple, simple past. past. Ah, simple past. Very good. How long did you live there? Simple past. That simple past. I lived there for two years. Simple past. That simple past. All right, people. 
Okay, so don't worry if you if you don't um if you still have problems with it, okay? Because that's why I, I am over here because I need to clarify what's going on with this uh, with this grammar. Now, as you can see. Tonight, we are in church of using both present perfect and simple past. That's what we are trying to identify tonight, and not only to identify, but also to put it into practice, okay? But before uh, getting there, we have to see some information. Okay. Let's take a look at it. We're gonna, I will play it only and then I will move to the um, to the PowerPoint presentation I have. Okay. Hello to all. In this lesson we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we are about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Tiene apagado el micrófono, teacher. Okay, now thank you. Now yes, we're going to uh, start working with with this presentation. Okay, thank you very much. And we're going to see the difference, right? Past simple versus present perfect. Okay, we're going to solve some exercises. We're going to create some sentences, all right? And um, I think we are going to finish with um, so, uh, some extra info in the platform. Hey, remember this week is the last week uh, for you to complete the activities in the platform and also you have a final evaluation, okay? That's quite important, okay? Now, let us take a look at it. Let's see. Past simple. When do we use past simple? Who wants to help me to read? Okay, Rebecca, thank you. We use the past simple tense to talk about it, uh, the finite, finished time in the past. Okay, so that's quite important, right? We use the, the past simple tense to talk about a definite finished time in the past. Okay. What about uh, okay? Well, we have some some examples over here, such as I wrote a letter yesterday, right? That is a time expression that tells us that the activity is over. We already finished with it. I wrote a letter at seven o'clock. I wrote a letter last Monday. I wrote a letter several weeks ago. Okay, so this is simple past, okay? Present perfect on the other hand. Okay, I wonder if there is anybody else who wants to help me? Who wants to help me to read?
Moses, okay, although, but... although we can use time phrases with the present perfect, uh, often we don't even know exactly when the action happened. All right, so now can you visualize the difference? With simple past tense, we already know about when when hap when when it happened, right? Yesterday, yesterday at seven, or today in the morning, okay, or it was like two weeks ago. But we already know that the 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 action is is already finished, and we also know about the time when we finish the activity. But with present perfect, you know, although we can use time phrases with the present perfect. Often we don't even know exactly when the action happened. Example, I have written a letter. When, so actually the sentence doesn't doesn't tell. I mean, we 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 cannot. We're not able to see when when it happened. I have been to friends. When did you go? We don't know. I I I only say that I have. Uh, been to France. I have worked as a chef before. I have worked, but when exactly? So we don't know. We have more examples, okay? Uh, I have, okay, you are going to have like, let me see, it all depends. We are going to have an application letter and you are going to be in church of highlighting both sentences. Ustedes van a ir diciendo, eh, bueno, de hecho se lo voy a compartir todo ya de un solo. <coughs> Sorry. Para que ustedes me vayan diciendo dónde visualizan ambos, ambos tiempos. <coughs> For example, dear Miss Miss Moll, I am interested in applying for the post of junior secretary. I have recently completed a B B Tech in business studies. During my course, I went on a number of work placements. I have also completed a level two typing course. In my summer holidays, I worked in a small business as a trainee secretary. I contacted them during my course and they were keen to offer me a job during the summer. Okay, now this is this is your job, people. En qué parte encuentran pasado simple y en qué parte encuentran presente perfecto? Teacher, tell me. The, this, uh, I have recipient sería pasado perfecto. Pre presente perfecto? Perdón, presente perfect. Present perfect. Esta. Sí, o sería siempre simple porque eso es lo que yo me confundo. Ah, ok, ahora lo vamos a aclarar. Ok. Vaya. I have recently completed a B check in business studies. Esto es presente perfecto. Le vamos a poner acá do, una, dos P, presente perfecto. Sí, porque estaba viendo la información que compartieron y en eso yo me confundía porque decía I have y a veces decía have y you. O sea, ponía después el sujeto. Ponía primero have y después el sujeto. Entonces, eso era lo que me tenía confundida. Si poner primero el sujeto y después el... el la palabra, la que sería have. Uh, bueno, yo, digamos que tenemos esta oración en positivo. Sí. La podemos tener en negativo también okay. y podemos, podemos crear preguntas. Entonces, y es la misma. Y es la misma información, solo que okay. con, con un sentido diferente. Por ejemplo, acá, I have recently completed a bit taking business studies. Está en forma positiva. Ok. Y si la lo... que, sí, digamos. Si yo lo quiero hacer en negativo, solo le incluyo not aquí. Not, sí. I haven't, ok. I haven't recently completed. Y si yo lo quiero hacer como pregunta, have you, 
have you recently completed a bit taking business studies? Entonces, okay. entonces es el mismo tiempo, solo que en diferentes, diferentes oraciones. Yeah. Ok, y, so, y diga. El otro que tengo la duda sería el otro que dice, I have a loss complete. Ese siempre sería así, eh, pa, pasa, pasado o presente. Sí. Es que me confundo. ¿Cuál, ¿cuál me, no, es que para eso estamos <ríe> trabajando hoy. En I'm eso. sorry. No, no, I, no, it's all right, it's all right. Uh -huh. I que, have a Alonso dice aquí, complete. I have, ah, I have, esa. Yes. I, I have also completed a level two typing course. Sí. Va, esta es presente perfecto también. Mm, ok. Es presente perfecto. ¿Qué, ¿Qué me da la pauta a mí, la pauta, perdón, de reconocer que esto es presente perfecto? Tengo un sujeto. Sí. Tengo el auxiliar have. Auxiliar. Este es un auxiliar que me... Esta es, es la clave que me... Una de las claves que me dice que esto es per, presente perfecto. Okay. Y después tengo un verbo que es completed okay. en pasado participio. Ok. Cuando están completed, que es ed, es pasado. Ajá. Ayer yo les explicaba que... Permítanme. Que eso sí me, me tenía así emboletada. Vale. Ayer yo les explicaba que los verbos regulares, regular verse, sí, yo me di cuenta como que tenían alguna, alguna duda al respecto. Ahora lo aclaramos. Regular verbs. Regular verbs. Vaya, vale. ¿quién me dice así rapidito cuáles son esos verbos? Los regular verbs. En pasado. Lo que, que le agregan ED, los regulares. All right. Son todos los verbos que en pasado terminan en, en, en ED. Complete. Regular verb. Forma base. Completed. Pasado simple. En completed, pasado participio. Entonces quiere decir que si usted sabe el pasado de un verbo regular, automáticamente sabe el pasado participio. ¿Ok? Completar, completó, completado. Trabajar, veamos otro. Work. Work. Work, working. Yeah, worked. Work. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de este? Work. Es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Work. Se escribe igual y se pronuncia igual. ¿Ok? Entonces, pero acuérdense que tenemos los irregular verbs. We have irregular verbs. Voy a borrar esto. We have irregular verbs. Y en los verbos irregulares tenemos, por ejemplo, este que es be, el pasado es was, was. was, were, y el pasado participio, been. been. Entonces los irregulares cambian su forma, ¿verdad? Estos hay que memorizárselos. Hay otros que se mantienen igual en las tres formas, como cut, cut, cut. Put, put, put. Y hay otros que... Sí, ese no cambia. Sí, ese no cambia. Y hay otros que sí cambian. Entonces, estos hay que memorizárselo. Uh -huh. Speak, spoke. Spoke y spoken. And spoken. Ok, entonces... Hay uno que, por ejemplo, read. El pasado es... Read. Read. No cambia tampoco. Y el pasado... Participio de red. Entonces, si acá tenemos, let me see, let me see, I will try to raise this bar. Okay, so if we have over here, um,
Sadjet, uh, let me see, sorry, 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 sorry. You have Sadjet, I, we have auxiliary have, and we have a verb in the past participle, so automatically I know that it is present perfect. Si tengo un sujeto, si tengo el auxiliar have, have or has, dependiendo, el, dependiendo de la persona. Si yo digo Silvia, has, she has. If I say Peter, Peter has, okay? If I say he, he has, okay? Después de eso tiene que haber uh, un verbo en pasado participio. Entonces eso me dice que es presente perfecto. No es lo mismo decir I have completed, yo he, yo he completado a I completed, yo completé. Okay, okay. I, hope, I, I hope you get my idea, okay? Look at this. In my summer holidays, I worked. ¿Qué tiempo es este? I simple. worked. Ha pasado simple. simple. Pasado simple. In a small business as a trainee secretary. I contacted them. ¿Qué tiempo es este? Pasado simple. Exactly. During my course. And they were keen. ¿Qué tiempo es este? They were keen. Pasado simple. Pasado, Pasado simple. simple del verbo be. To offer me a job during the summer. Okay. Now, is there any question about it? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Let us try to continue because we have some, some mix, some answers so here. I mean, the information that you that you provided, right? So now, as we could see previously, this is the present perfect structures. Okay. The ones in blue, simple past. I went. I have also completed. I worked a simple past. I contacted simple past and they were keen to offer me a job. Simple past tense. Now, activity. In the activity, we're gonna see some statements, okay? And then you are going to uh, let me know if they are correct or incorrect, okay? Correct or incorrect are the following sentences written correctly. All right. In the first one, we have, I have worked in a restaurant last year. I have worked in a restaurant. No, I worked in a restaurant last year. ¿Cuál de las dos es la correcta? Um, I, I worked in a restaurant last year. All right, so it's, it's the second one. ¿Qué les hizo saber que era la segunda? No lleva la opinión. El tiempo es, es como una fecha exacta, digamos. Exactly. This is the key, right? Last year, el año pasado. ¿Qué si no tuviera esto? Si no tuviera esto. Se podría, I, I were in a restaurant. Sería por la primera. Ok, that would be the most suitable. Esta sería la más, la más indicada. No quiere decir que esta estuviera, estuviera errada. I worked in a restaurant. Trabajé en un restaurante. Eso está bien también. Ok, solo que le han añadido esta frase. Pero... Acuérdense que se usa más, este, cuando no damos tiempo exacto, es, es más favorable usar presente perfecto. I have worked in a restaurant. He trabajado en un restaurante. Ok. So let's see. Let's see the following. Vamos a ver la otra. All right, so what is the best option? I have never studied French. I have never studied French. First or second? Oh, it's the second one. Second one. It's a, it's a second one, right? So a uh, mis, misspelling is a problem over here. Por eso, cuando yo les decía que había que aprenderse los verbos, ok, esto es, es muy obvio, ¿verdad? Que no es así, porque es un verbo regular. Pero cuando son los pasados participios de los irregulares, 
hay que tener bien presente cómo se escribe, ¿ok? Let's see. Correct or incorrect, I worked as a waitress in 1998, or I worked as a waitress in 1998. Second. The second. Okay. The second one, because it's providing, okay, the exact year. The next one. She has completed a computer course last year, or she completed a computer course last year. Second one, she completed a computer course last year. Yeah, it's the second one, right? So now, now you see, it's very important to to put into practice the information, okay, and 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 compare the structures. During my course, I visited Italy twice. I have never been to Spain, though. During my course, I visited Italy twice. I have never been to Spain, though. What's the best option? The second one. It's the second one, right? It's, it's, it's highlighted over here. Si se fijan acá, el verbo lo ha dejado en forma base. Y aquí sí ya está en pasado participio. And I think that's, this is going to be the last one. I have done a range of part-time jobs since I left college, or I did a range of part-time jobs since I left college. First or second? The first one? Yeah, it is the first. It is the first, right? I have done a range of part-time jobs since I left college. All right. So listen, we're, I will stop this part, okay? Now, if you have any questions, just let me know it. And we're going to continue with the platform activities, okay? All right, so we're back. According to what we have studied, people, we need to complete these parts, okay? I want you to participate, especially the people who haven't done it yet. Uh, Christian, Claudia, David, uh, Maria Elena, Nelson, Oscar, Ricardo, Sonia Rebecca, Stephanie, Victor, Xiomara. Okay, let me see. Over here, you are going to complete the, the information, right? Who wants to help me? The second one. Have you ever sung? Have you ever sung? All right. Have you ever sang? The first one. Yeah, I mean. Sorry, yeah, the first you one. Say, have, uh, the yes. first one. The first one. Yes. Uh, okay, sorry. Have you ever sang? Okay, now look for the three forms of the verb, please. Busquen en la web las tres formas de ese verbo. Presente, pasado y pasado participio. Y me dicen si esa es la correcta o no. Number three, teacher. Is this is the third one, right? So number three. Uh, it's the third one. ¿Por qué, por qué los, los envía que buscaran el, el, la forma del verbo? Porque miren una letrita hace la gran diferencia. Ok, una letra hace la gran diferencia. Si usted dice hat sang. Ya no tiene sentido. Pero si dice have sung, que es el pasado participio de sing, ahora sí ya, ya cobra sentido la oración. ¿Ok? So, have you ever sang a karaoke bar? Sí. Now, let's see the second one. Yes. Let, let's see. Christian, is Christian in the class today? Yes, I do. 
Yeah, Christian, tell me about the second one, please. Yes, I have. I sang one on my birthday. Number three. Is the second one or the third one? The third one. Uh, okay. It's the third one. Yes, I have. I sang one on my birthday. Do you agree, people? Estamos todos de acuerdo con esa? Yes, the It's the second one. The second one. Some people, this, so, algunos dicen que es la segunda. Otros okay. dicen que es la tercera. Okay. ¿Cómo lo resolvemos? There's... It's because I think it continues uh... with this one, right? Hey, have you ever sang in a karaoke bar? Yes, I did. Or yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, I have. have, right? Yes, I have. I sang. Ahora fíjense acá. Acá hay un puntito. Eso me da la pausa para iniciar otra oración. Okay, y la oración no necesariamente tiene que ser en presente perfecto. ¿verdad? Por eso es que la persona se cambia al pasado, miren. Pasado simple. Ya, yeah, a pasado simple, exactly. Yes, I have. I sang oh, one on my birthday. Very good, ok. Let's see. Acuérdense que tienen una actividad en donde ustedes van a, van a combinar su experiencia Hablándonos, utilizando pasado simple y presente perfecto. Si no, no, si no lo logramos ahora, pues mañana volvemos a hacer el intento. Let's see. Number three. Number three. Claudia Lisset. Uh, Sería el number one. Number one. Sería... Uh, have you ever lost something so something uh, valuable? Valuable. Valuable. Yeah. So, uh, do you agree, people? Estamos de acuerdo todos. Have you ever lost <laughs> something valuable? Okay. Very good. Number four. David. Uh, ah, okay. So there. ¿Hay alguien que tiene duda en esta? Have you ever lost something valuable? Hey, the past of lose, lost. The past participle is lost. It's the same, right? So I, I think this is the correct one, right? Let's see what's going on with number four. Who wants to help me with number four? Let me see. David Roberto. Maria Elena. Haven't lost. No, I haven't. But my brother, has lost, lost, or have lost? Lost. The second one. Okay, so okay. we're going to... Huh? Do you agree with it? I think it's the first one. It's the first one? So if I say, no, I haven't, but my brother has lost his camera on a trip once. So let us choose one of them. Y ya luego lo revisamos. First or second? Okay, okay we, we're, we're going to see. Okay, we're going to sit there. Then we're going to check it if we are correct. Let me see. We have a lot over here. Number five, let us try to do it in a very quick way. Let me see. Nelson Rodimiro. Y 
and then some here. Teacher, la respondo yo. Please, 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 Ricardo. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Have you ever gotten a, a traffic ticket? Okay. Number six. We're going to check it later. Don't worry. Number six. Oscar Antonio. Sonia Rebecca. Have Jeff. Um, okay, Maria Elena. Have Jeff, teacher. Yeah, yes, I have. Once I, I get a ticket, I get, or I have gotten, or I got. I have got. Okay, yes, I have. Once I got a ticket and had to pay 50. Okay, let's see. Okay, Stephanie is not in the class. Victor, Xiomara Elizabeth. Yes. Okay, okay Xiomara Elizabeth, you are going to help me with number seven. Number two. It's the second one. Can you read it? Yes. And have you ever seen? A live concert. A live concert? Good. I think we are almost done. Yes, we still have some time. Now, who wants to help me with number number eight? Yes. The third one. Yes, I have. I saw you two at the stadium last year. Okay, number nine. The first one. Have you ever been have you ever been late for an important appointment? All right, very good. And the number 10. The second one. No, I haven't. But my sister was 30 minutes late for her credit. Okay, we're gonna see the answers. And as you can see, all of them are. Well, you did it, people. So I think you have a clearer idea about what we are doing, right? So great job. Okay, listen. Solo voy a, a, a chequear que no me haya equivocado con, con la asistencia. Okay, y les recuerdo que mañana, pues, van a, a volver a presentarnos esa experiencia pero en, eh, el día de mañana le van a incluir presente perfecto, así como lo hemos, lo hemos estudiado ahora. Ok, David Roberto, Nelson Rodimiro, Oscar Antonio, Sonia Rebeca, Stephanie Michelle, Victor Alfredo. Okay, the rest of, of you, I have already checked you were in the class tonight. Now, if you have any question, ¿estamos claros con la actividad de mañana? Yes. Yes. Vamos con, un, yes. con una segunda oportunidad. Okay, lo que hicieron ahora estuvo bien. Incluyeron pasado simple. El día de mañana lo que van a hacer es uh, ampliar la información e incluirle presente perfecto. Okay, that's what we are going to look for tomorrow. Ah, algo que les quiero recordar es que esta semana es la última semana de, del nivel en el que estamos y es necesario que ustedes eh, puedan culminar sus actividades en la plataforma. Que... Sí, yo tengo una pregunta con esto, perdón. Diga, Denis. Este, yo ya terminé toda la plataforma, incluso el examen final, pero sigue apareciéndome el detalle de que no aplico para el, el certificado. No sé si, si usted reportó la otra vez en clase que varios le comentamos ese detalle. Y eso le, le sucede, siempre le sigue sucediendo a varios de ustedes. 
Según me escribió uno de los que de los asesores es que, que había que terminar la plataforma más tardar el lunes para que ellos empezaran a procesar los, los diplomas, me dijo, pero no, no les había decir. Y es que es error de ellos que no los han subido. Lo mismo digo yo también, teacher. Eso me dijeron. Porque a mí me dice que estoy inscrito como asistente. Sí, se aparece. Ok, no se Pero preocupen. no es que seamos solo asistentes, sino que sí nos van a dar el diploma. Sí, claro, claro. Si ustedes se han ganado su diploma, claro que se lo van a entregar. No se preocupen por eso. Pero y de igual manera, yo la vez anterior no lo, no lo, no lo este, reporté porque parece que Jonel... Jonel dijo algo como que, como que habían resuelto, ¿verdad? No me recuerdo, no sé si me recuerdo mal. Eso es lo que me dijo el, el, el asistente, wow. que, Pero en... que todavía no estaban elaborados, que, que los iban a procesar antes de, de que terminara diciembre. Ok. Entonces yo pregunto, hoy. Y cualquier cosa yo les comunico ahí en el grupo. ¿Les parece? Gracias, Dicho. Ok. Ok, so it's been a pleasure once again. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Ok. And try to do your best. I know you can do it. Tomorrow it will be a better. Ok. Let us see tomorrow, people. Good night. God bless Good you. Night, Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you Good later. Night. See you later.